Good afternoon, Timber. Joining me live from the DRS Open Day here in Crewe, the Gresty Bridge Depot. Lots going on, lots of people here today. It's really, really good. This is the best I think I have actually been to. This is the third time at one of these events. This has got to be the best. It's the better organised. Best, best facilitated open day they've done so far. They've all been good in the past, but this one just is fantastic. So I thought, uh, go live and give you a walk around for those of you who are unable to attend. So you can see what is on show. Now, obviously, we're indoors at the moment, we're in the long shed, and in front of you, you can see four locomotives, they're all uh, cab experienced locomotives and we'll uh, have a look at those right now. We've also got a lot of trade stalls as well so uh, I'll keep quiet and uh, any questions just feel free to let me know. Thank <laughs> you. 
So that was the long room. There is another area which we'll come back to in a bit further on where the crane is. Now usually here is where they had the burger stands, but they've now relocated them to the rear car park, which has got so much extra parking. It's uh, sorry, seating. So much better. It's fantastic. This is where the DRS merchandise is available. Currently on offer, 50% off marked prices. Take credit cards. I'm afraid so. In that case, it's definitely not there. Yeah. We've got a car machine that's not working. So we go down here, down the middle. It's three routes, but. Uh, We'll go down this way, it's got the most stuff on it. Right, is it? Uh, you have to go back into the room. No, absolutely fine. It's a bit dry in the face. First low car with Jay Angie. It's an ab turned out an absolutely glorious day here today. Started off a bit overcast and cool, which was great while we were queuing up to get in. As the day has progressed, the sun has come through, the clouds are broken, and it's absolutely glorious. It's not too hot, although it is warm, it's very warm, it's not too hot. There we've got discussions about name plates. Sparky the cat as well. Not Sparky 107, 107, but Sparky the cat is out. Let's see if we can get away from Sparky. Sneak up on Sparky the cat. Before we do, look at that. Up for a crank. Oh, this is the Warrington West one. It's the one that's rather more like. Should I take it for food? Yeah. Should I take it for food? 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 Should I take it Now, I'll take you down there in a moment. It is the pre premier part of the show. Now, they've just done, finished an engine start of everything here with horns and everything. It was absolutely vibrating through your chest. Incredible. To me, this is the star of the show. That is gorgeous. Now I'm going to set you a question, guys. 
Anyone recognise that locomotive there? If you can't see the number, it's 37419. What's so appropriate with that? Anyone know? And there's Concrete Bob. Feel free to snap some screenshots of anything you see. On the main lines, you're saying, hi all, I literally just got back from this. Oh, did you hear get the 37 start up? Did you see that? Yeah, look at that. Snap that picture, guys. Take a screenshot of that. Yes, the Intercity, Carl Haviland, 37419. I'll leave you with that one to ponder. Let us know in the comments below, maybe later. What's so appropriate regarding that locomotive? Answers on 50 pound notes. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. Check out this beauty. We've got 88001 down there at the far end. This is absolutely gorgeous. It looks like it's literally only just been produced. The paintwork on it, the white wheels, incredible. Love it. Pride of my the show for me this was. This gets number one locomotive of the show. <laughs> And then this side. CPE 6820025. Gorgeous cat. There's a 57 down there too, indeed there is. And they've just been running that. They've just been doing an engine roar of it. Um, now there's something a little bit special regarding this. We'll get to those over the other side in a moment. Anyone recognise the number? Or should I say how it's been applied? I noticed it straight away. I wonder if anybody else has. If you have, let me know in the comments below. David B Northwest, absolutely spot on there. You've just got it right. Rail Operations Group, it's their, low, their, their uh, numbers. It is indeed our ROG fleet number print. Now, with it being debranded, I'm wondering if it's uh, a loan. Eighty-eight double O two, Prometheus, and we've got an engine run here. So we're going to go over to it now. We have a locomotive running. Now, 
I've got a feeling it might be because there's, there's two more locomotives on site hidden away behind the fencing there. And I'm wondering if that's what I can hear powered up. So we've got Titan over there, 60 acre below nine. And I said, mention about the burger stalls. Well, they're here on the far car park. Absolutely bags of seating and absolute top notch idea. Brilliant idea. So we'll go around to uh, the opposite side. Now, this year they have changed some of their policies for these events. Uh, 69, you mean 68, Sparky? <laughs> They have changed the policy this year. As you noticed, there is no one on the tracks. There is a no track walk policy now in place. Everything's fenced off. Sixty-eight fourteen just arriving into Gresty Depot from Wembley DRS Yard. All right, that might be what I can hear. I do know that 66433, oops, 66433 and 57, oh, 57, 3, not 311. Yeah, it might be 311 actually. Um, I'll find out for you in a moment just to clarify those exact numbers, but uh, they're hidden away behind the sheds on out on the main line. Oh. I only briefly caught them. Now I have to admit, defeat on this, I actually do like that livery. Still not, still not on, caught on the logo, but the green livery, I love it. Really nice. That's superb, that is. Literally. <laughs> so I've not had anyone mention about uh, the 37419 yet, what that one's all about. But we're going to go around here because there's currently a, a, a naming ceremony taking our place. Uh, we've already had one, there it is, I can see that 68, it's just arriving, just seen it past the main gates. Has the unveiling taken place yet? No, it hasn't. We're going to squeeze through and I'll be quiet while I just show, look around with the camera.
He drove and found a great enthusiasm in the English electric class 20s and 37s, and heritage diesel cars. Two years on, he decided to leave the city from the land of a different type of tractor, tractor also being the name of the class 37, and transferred to Stowmarket Depot in Sutton. The depot was set up mainly for the rail and treatment trains, but the versatility of drivers such as Paul was soon realised. The depot expanded its work profile and Paul was involved with driving enthusiast charters, dining trains such as the Morgan Bell, weed killers, ballast and container trains, as well as the new paint services to size numbers and places. Paul also became a mentor driver, passing on his knowledge and experience to train. He was a kindred spirit to me right from our first meeting, and we shared our love of old diesel locos on visits to several preserved railways and DRS loco drivers, plus to Belgium and the Netherlands on a few memorable trips. His ultimate voyage was a journey across Canada with like a large steamboat. We had the great frail spread from Wall to Wall in Dawson, a small world in India. We'll come back to that because we have a local arrival. Let's go capture this. We have a 68, as mentioned in the chat just a moment ago, arriving. in the Chilton livery. That's a sharp stop. Let's go. Well, the naming ceremony is pretty much complete. This one was named earlier today, 66422, and was named, unveiled, as named as Max Jewel, 1958-1999. So the ceremony is still going on. Let's have a look at the crowds. about to unveil the name. This voice, good old Simon. Hello, yeah. Right. Go away for the camera. <laughs> Simon, obviously the director of Rail Riders, and he's here with the Rail Riders Club stun and their locomotive, which is named by DRS 66303. But we have news. DRS are going to be put, removing this plaque and name from this locomotive because DRS have sold it. 
but I can also confirm that there will be a new DRS locomotive that the rail riders plaque and name plates and names will be transferred to in the near future we stay posted with rail riders for that GBRF yes that's correct but sadly if the rail riders details will not be staying on it that was uh, being going to be transferred to a new DRS locomotive in the near future I have been given some information on that but it's not for public ears as of yet there's that arriving 68 moving in Sixty-six four three three. Yes, that's hiding behind there. Everyone's sneaking in for a pick. Of the sixty-eight, it's just arrived. And I did say we uh, got another locomotive hiding away. I'm sure why these are not actually in the site. Whether they didn't have time to get them in. Again, there's our name driver Paul Scrivens. Lots of great stuff around. Very helpful, very informative. Before we go back into the main hall. Is that the MLYSG logo on there? No, not quite. Uh, 57310 it is. Not 311 I thought it was. 57310. I'm in just there. There may be others as well, but I'm not sure. Uh, I've been going down there, but yeah. Some locos hiding in the shadows. So we we'll take you back into the main hall. As you can see through those doors, that's where we started the screen, but this is the crane area. Full of trade stands. Lots of trade stands. So I'll just uh, pan the camera over the trade stands and be quiet. Badges, bridge magnets, two pound fifty each or five for a tenner. And under the crane on this side. Lots of books, magazines, leaflets. More fabulous trade stands. I did think these were a good line.
plenty of bargaining areas for everybody. Lovely cool breeze blowing into here. Lots of end gauge stuff, so. Great stuff there, 15% off. Yeah, it's not bad. No gauge stock, no beasts. <laughs> I did think about wearing it, but I did think about wearing it. Really? I did not know that. Know that. So, uh, David B, thanks for commenting. And we are back where we began. So let's have a look at the chat, what you've been saying guys and girls. Now you can see lots of people here. I have, it's got a bit busier as the afternoon has progressed, but obviously there was a selection of tickets, but 1pm only tickets. 1 p.m. arrival ticket, so it has picked up again in people. I have seen a number of people that I know. Um, Richard, who won his ticket on the last YouTube Tuesday show last week, he was here with his son, having a fantastic time, picked up his winning tickets. Unfortunately, the other ticket winner at the very last minute, was unable to attend due to a family illness. So uh, unfortunately, that ticket has not been used. So, uh, but, so we wish George, uh, Greg, I think it's Greg Scott, we wish him and his family well. Commiserations uh, of, of your unfortunate not being able to attend. So that about wraps it up. I have been taking videos, photographs, bits and bobs around, so there might be another short slideshow imagery coming up soon, or I might, they'll be available to channel members first. So uh, it might be a while before you see it for your public eyes, but for your channel members, I've got some fantastic photographs and some video for you to feature very soon. Uh, just if you are here or if you have been here Mark Thompson hello to you thanks for joining us uh, if you are here still please don't hesitate to come and say hi I know a number of people have and uh, thank you to those that have popped over and said hello always appreciate just having a chat so we'll leave it there thank you very much everybody for watching tuning in and I'll see you again on the next one. Take care.